Um, good evening, board members and superintendent. Um, thank you for having us here today and for giving us the opportunity to tell us about uh, some of the things that our students do in the school. Um, the Today's Students Tomorrow Teachers program is a career development mentoring program that recruits and trains high school students for college uh, and a rewarding teaching career. TSTT was designed to address the growing shortage of teachers, in particular teachers of color. Upon receipt of teacher certification, TSTT students pledge to return to the classroom as teachers and role models in their communities. TSTT is a partnership of school districts, businesses, foundations, communities, and colleges who provide internships and financial support. TSTT serves over 300 school students and over 200 college students who come from nearly 50 high schools located in Connecticut, New York, and Virginia. 47% of the students are African American, 53% are Hispanic Latino, and other ethnic groups. 75% of these students are first generation to attend college. <clears throat> it's almost a year now that I was here speaking to you about this program. Uh, at the time, there were three seniors that were part of the program who I need to report you are doing great. All three are in college and they're all starting to become teachers in different colleges. Uh, they spoke to you about their experiences and it was after that that the board raised the number of available spots from the ones that we had to 10 that we have this year. So this year we attended several workshops about leadership, tutoring, and college. We also hosted a workshop here in Allenville High School. Uh, there were about 60 students that visited us from Monticello, Liberty, and Fallsburg. Our students showed the leadership and professionalism needed to host such an event. The day was a success, and in part was because of their help and their commitment to the program. But the main force behind the success of the program has been the new regional manager, Ms. Aleta Lyman, who started about April of last year and who is here today to tell you a little more about TSTT and our goals. Her commitment and determination has been crucial to our success to the growth of the program. I'm going to let her tell you more about the program and later we'll have some of the students tell you about their experiences. So, Ms. Lyman? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Again, my name is Alita Lyman. I'm the regional program manager for today's Students Tomorrow's Teachers. Our mission is to recruit, mentor, and train culturally diverse and economically challenged students from high school through college and place them in as effective teachers and committed leaders who strengthen schools and communities. Our vision will be the National Career Development, I'm sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> the National Career Development Model that is recognized for addressing teacher shortages and increasing the number of culturally diverse educators and other professionals. The model is an eight year model. What we do is we work with students from grades nine through 12 and once they graduate from the program, we have a teacher mentor in each one of our participating colleges that will take them on and lead them through the program until they finish up their bachelor's degree. So they'll have four years of high school and they'll have four years of college. The benefits to the district are to increase academic performance among diverse students, increase college readiness, improve literacy and reading, math and science, middle school transformation through educators rising, qualified tutors for after school and extended school hours, access to high quality teaching candidates. The criteria for our student selection, high school student with leadership potential, recommendations by the teachers, administrators, and guidance counselors, ability to achieve a B plus average and 90% attendance by the end of the senior year. So what that means is we're not going to just take in a student with a B plus average and a 90% attendance rate, but we're going to work with that student that has the ability to bring that average up by the senior year and the economic need. For these students, their commitment is to maintain academic standing, complete job shadowing, internship, and workshops. They have to tutor for two hours per week during the entire school year. They have to complete 20 hours of a summer internship, 
attend regional workshops that um, Mrs. Onise just mentioned, promise to teach in a participating school district for one year upon receipt of teaching credentials. The student benefits are a 50% college tuition scholarship, college admissions assistance, access to Kaplan SAT prep training programs, tutor training, academic assistance, high school and college mentor, practice teaching, career counseling, opportunity for employment and teaching, and job placement assistance. Along with the TSTT program that we offer in the high school, there is an initiative that um, can feed right into the high school curriculum. It's called the Student Leadership Movement. And what we're, it's, we're developing it to make it stronger. Um, I spoke with some of these students, and I know they're going to talk about it later, but they, they kept reiterating to me that they would like to, they would have liked to start the program a little earlier. So this student, student leadership movement, what it does is it works with the eighth grade students, the high school students will mentor the eighth grade students. We will teach the high school students how to develop PowerPoint presentations to, um, to deliver topics off of the syllabus that, are, that is developed for the student leadership movement. So that's to prep the middle school students to become leaders early. And it has a syllabus, as you can see up on the screen. Okay, and then the participating colleges um, that these students will get a 50% tuition cut of their choice, these are the colleges um, that are listed up on the screen. When you mentioned we, we did go to Marist College this year, we went to visit Marist and we went to visit SUNY New Paltz. Mm -hmm. So as part of the things we did do to trips to visit colleges, we did go to SUNY Albany, I don't think Albany is here, but mm -hmm. we did visit Marist and New Paltz this year. We went on a bus and we did like the tour and they showed us the dorms and they explained the classes. So we did the typical college visit for both Marist and New Paltz okay. this year. And that's it. Without further ado, I would like to introduce you to Josue Lorenzo. He's our senior that's graduating out this year. Good afternoon, guys. Hi. Hello. Um, I want to talk about my experience with TSTT. And um, I have to say this program is like on top of it when it comes to training and teaching because Throughout the trainings, I learned a lot, and I know one of our board members here gave a presentation, and it's almost like there's so much information coming in through TSTT, and I really appreciate that, and I appreciate our leaders who are driving us through all this program and helping us get make it to success. Um, I got accepted into Pace University, and I believe TSTT comes with it, so it's a great opportunity, and I know that sometimes we change our minds and our careers because I believe most of us have and this is just a great opportunity because even though we might not end up being a teacher but we might I know <laughs> some of us started <laughs> in other places and look at where we ended Amen. so it's a great opportunity and I am really I appreciate this a lot for the people who care like the best right here and I'm gonna let my partners and Friends here. Well, before you go, Josue, if I may, um, you came and presented in front of the board last year as well um, for a different program, but nonetheless, how, how were you in TSTT last year as well? No, last okay. year was for Pryli. Right, right, okay. And I believe I was here again for the school trip. Okay, so this is your first year in for TSTT, TSTT yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. Congratulations on your acceptance to PACE. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, good evening. My name is Natalie Prada. I'm in 10th grade, and it's my first year in TSCT. TSCT is a great opportunity to meet new people who want to pursue the same thing as you. You can meet people from different countries. It's a way to learn about the career before you go into college. It helps prepare you for college by tutoring and shadowing. It's perfect for other students who can't afford college but want to be successful in life. In the workshops, we've learned how to be leaders 
and they've also taught us problem solving skills which will be useful in the future. I think there should be more opportunities in this program for other kids in this school. I would like to thank the board for allowing us to part participate in this program. So Natalie, you found it all beneficial? Yeah. Okay. You having a good time with it? Yeah. Okay. So did you find it, Ms. Prada, if I may, um, right here. There you go. Okay. Did sorry. You, did you, <laughs> sorry. I'm hidden. That's okay. That's right. Um, did you find it benef not only beneficial, but did you find it challenging as well, being in 10th grade and going into the atmosphere where there were, you know, uh, more demands placed on you and, and things of that nature? And what did you take out of it? No, I think it's better to start now, like, unlike some people who, well, I think it's better to start in 8th grade because in other schools, people already started and they already, they have more experience. So I think I, it was better that I started now. Well, now than before I, him as a senior. Hmm. Did you, were you intimidated at all or you just welcomed it? Not really. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Hi, um, I'm Christina. Um, I'm in 10th grade and this is my first year in TSTT. The reason I joined is because I want to become a physical education teacher and also because of my teachers. Did I change it? Oh, sorry. I, I'm sorry. Um, because of my teachers and my coach, Mr. Dom, that he's inspired me. Um, although this is my first year, um, I wish I started earlier because joining this year I had to meet a lot. I had to do a lot more and fill out a lot more paperwork and do a lot more things. And if I would have started in like seventh or eighth grade, I would have had more experience. Um, so yeah, that. Um, as a tenth grader, I had yeah. As a tenth grader, I had to do a lot more things, program at once, because I started later than other schools and other um, kids that have started in like seventh, not even seventh, like eighth grade. So yeah, I just wanted to thank you for letting me like participate. I'm sorry. And Ms. Okay. Right. Talk about Oh yeah, um, I did shadow a couple of teachers. Uh, yeah, I did shadow a couple of teachers um, to see like what they would do throughout the class, and basically, they would like I would just watch them what they would do and how they would teach and how they would act towards the um, kids and the students, and then I learned and then I would write stuff like notes down, and yeah. So. so, Christina, may I ask, do you think you would have known in eighth grade that this is what you wanted to do? Um, no, but, I mean, I, I didn't know really what I wanted to do. I, don't, I still don't, but I, I'm thinking about it. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Would, yeah. Anybody would you, else? Yeah, Phil, go ahead. Would you feel comfortable going back down to uh, talk to the eighth graders and, and maybe, like, you know, you got mentored, and maybe you could, uh, if there was such a thing, Ms. Oneeson, Perhaps it's a, a possibility because, you know, you've got to reach out to the younger students, mm -hmm. as you just said. You've got to reach out to the younger students, start building them up so that they're ready for the challenges of the high school years and, and going on afterwards. Is it something you would feel comfortable doing? And, and yeah, because, like, I'd want, I want to encourage them to try to join if they would want to become a teacher so that they can, like, go through to the workshops and, like, learn how to do, like, the things that we do in the workshops. So, yeah. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you. Next. Oh, nobody. <coughs> um, hello. I'm Vinalise Malave. Um, I'm going to talk to you about TSTT, and I'm here to convince you to keep supporting our Today's Students, Tomorrow's Teachers program. Um, this program helps develop our skills in different ways and it's not, it doesn't only benefit us but other people in this community. TSTT makes it a priority, priority to tutor kids in need of some extra help. So not only do we benefit from this um, program, so do other people. Um, um, today I ask you to continue to support us so we can go to college so that um, we can make a future for ourselves, and um, yeah, um, the school benefits from this, and so does the whole town of Ellenville. Why? Because we are going to work hard and invest in other kids to help the next generation get the 
help they need to have the best chance to succeed as possible because that's just who we are and what we stand for at TSDT. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Jody has a question. Jody has a question. Mrs. Little has a question for you. Good evening. What, um, where do you do your tutoring? Do we do it here in the district? Uh, yes, I go down to the middle school and I help Ms. Um, Ramming with the ESL class. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? What did I say? Thank you very much. Thank you. Next. Wonderful. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did we have a question? I did. I, I, I had Mr. a question Bruce? for Ms. Lyman. Mrs. Lyman, so assuming that everyone completes the, the, the program in their senior year, are all of the students here um, going to be the beneficiary of a 50% reduction scholarship for those schools without competition? They will, they will benefit from the program if they do what they are supposed to do. Understood. If and they, they have to make sure that their average fits with the criteria of the college. Understood. We have a college assessment. We work with the guidance counselors here in the district to make sure that these kids get what they need. Mm -hmm. They have to show us the um, acceptance letter from the college. And once we get past that, then yes. Everything is set for them already at the college. As I mentioned before, right. we have uh, college mentors as well, not just high school mentors. Sure. So, and they will help them from that point on. That's phenomenal. Wonderful. Thank you. Bill? I don't have a question, more of a comment, a compliment to all of you, because the hardest thing you have to do is stand up in front of your peers and adults and speak in public. And I can tell you that as nervous as you were, you guys came off uh, very professional. And it's a credit to uh, all of you, your parents, uh, your teachers, and, and certainly the administration here. And for me, it's a no-brainer. You continue this program, and you pour as much as you can into it as far as resources go. So good luck to you all in the future. Thank you. On the heels of that comment, last year we had three students that were a part of the program. And this year, I'm really pleased to see, and I think everyone's probably pleased to see, such a large representation for Ellenville in the program. And to hear that we had well, that we hosted a, uh, a workshop, um, it's almost it's, it's a 180 degree turn, and I'm really really proud of you guys. Congratulations to each of you. It's quite an opportunity, and I'm glad that so many people are taking advantage of. Thank you. Yeah. Is that it? Do we have others to speak? Okay, so I just want to say to to you folks, thank you for coming to talk to us. Congratulations with what you're doing and continue to make us proud. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Wayne, go ahead. It's more of a comment than a question. <coughs> what do we need to do to help the eighth graders participate in this program? I think uh, by listening to the young students that just spoke, I think it would be beneficial to bring it down and start in eighth grade rather than in ninth or tenth grade. So what do we need to do to make that happen? So I, d I don't know what she's the... She's coming. Yes, yeah, she's coming. Yeah. Right. She's coming. Thank you. <laughs> I will get my team here to do a presentation to the board, and we will show you the curriculum that we put forth for the eighth grade students. We will do the presentation, and from there, you will agree or disagree to sign off on a participation agreement. Um, and you'll discuss what the fee is um, with the superintendent. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go from there. We go from there. Mr. Matrician? So. <coughs> right. Well, there, there's, it's a whole process. So once you sign off on the um, participation agreement, there are other steps that will follow. Um, we would need to. Um, put another teacher mentor in place because it's an eight to 10 ratio to each, to the students, one teacher mentor to eight to 10 students. So if you were to um, implement the student leadership initiative, then it would, the minimum would be 10 students. The minimum would be 10 and then, so we would need another teacher mentor in the middle school. So your biggest resource that I see that you have right in front of you are the girls that just testified uh, that said that they would be more than willing to go down there and 
share their expertise and what they've learned, and, and that's a big impression. If their peer, if they go down and they're, peer, they're coming from the high school, I mean, that's impressionable. In eighth grade, you get a high school student, I don't care, freshman, sophomore, whatever it is, it's just a big impression on an eighth grader to have somebody um, in their positions uh, to come down and the achievements that they've made to come down and share with those students. So I think your biggest resource, in addition to everything that you have to do, and I would love to see it because we have to reach out to the eighth graders. We have to start molding them to go forward, and they are, you know, it, it sounds corny, but they are our future, um, and certainly that's where these young ladies come in. I th correct, and, and as I mentioned earlier, we will train the high school students that are interested in going down to um, show their leadership and strengthen this leadership Absolutely. skills of the middle school students. We will train them on how to create PowerPoint presentations and how to deliver them to the middle school Great. students. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Is it? Thank you, Ms. Long. Okay.